Okay, so what do you think about the Knicks? Derek Rose says that <laughs> they're the one of the two super the, teams. Yeah, the two super teams, Golden State Warriors and the Knicks. Now, okay, so first of all, I don't think it would be so ridiculous if the Warriors weren't the Warriors, okay? Like if it was just another great team and he was saying we're also a super, but it's just, it sounds even more ridiculous when he's comparing them to the Warriors. But regardless, what do you think? Are they gonna be good next year? They're gonna be a good team just because they have so many good players. Carmelo, uh, who's playing great right now, he I looks know. great for the Olympics. I saw this meet, or this news blurb. It said the New York Knicks are trying to trade uh, Knicks Carmelo Anthony for USA <laughs> Olympics Carmelo Anthony. Yeah, when they should try because USA <laughs> Carmelo Anthony is, awesome. is much better. But that's the thing with USA basketball is not team basketball. They win because they have so many more better players. Yeah. You can play a lot of one-on-one -on -one basketball. And so, yeah, Carmelo's gonna thrive. Are they going to do anything or make any noise in the playoffs? I'm gonna say it depends on Derrick Rose and not what you think. I'm not saying that MVP Derrick Rose needs to make an appearance. I think that M MVP Derrick Rose it's needs so to disappear. Yeah. He needs to move on from that guy and become a quality point guard in the NBA. One that plays team basketball, accepts that he is no longer an MVP. an MVP. And make sure that Carmelo and Porzingis are getting the ball where they are most effective and where they can dominate a game and then he needs to pick and choose when he scores and gets his points yeah. that doesn't take away from the offense. Who should be the number one option, Carmelo or Porzingis? I still think Carmelo needs to be your number one guy, but it just depends on the type of shots that he's getting. Yeah. Uh, the one-on-one -on -one basketball that's working for Team USA is not gonna work for the New York Knicks against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Because all you gotta do is put LeBron on Carmelo, and yeah, he's still gonna get his shot, but it's not gonna be as easy. But who's gonna guard Porzingis? Yeah. That's the real question, and if D. Rose can find a way to get Porzingis, he is such a nightmare matching up against him that he really can make or change a game. Yeah, a lot like Dirk, because you just have nobody that you can put on him. If you put a small guy on him, he's gonna destroy you in the post. I almost think that, you know, you start running through Porzingis more. You may not win the championship this year, but if you have a great season with him, he learns how to be a number one guy. He learns how to shoot the smart shot, how to close games out then that experience would be invaluable in order for them to move on to the next season because Carmelo is a ball stopper and it doesn't move through him. And if you have D. Rose and Carmelo trying to be MVPs of the league, Porzingis is gonna get pushed aside and he's the guy that can really turn your season around, really make your team a championship yeah. team because his game is the new NBA. Carmelo, he still wants to prove that he is a Hall of Famer, that he, well, you know, he's probably going to go in the Hall of Fame, but that he's an all-time great, he can lead a team to a championship. Maybe it's time for him to accept that he can be an all-star, but he doesn't have to be the man. And likewise with Derrick Rose. You had your chance, unfortunately, due to injuries, it didn't work out, and that's, and it sucks. But if you accept that you can be an all-star, but you don't have to be the man. Porzingis can be the man. Yeah. Porzingis can be the guy that is your number one option. You guys can play off of him, and if they can put their egos aside and accept that. Well, that's what championship yeah. basketball is all about. People accepting their role. Accepting their role. Because that's the only way to get enough good players on a team to be good enough to win a championship, but to where it meshes well and it works. You know, those good players have to accept that somebody else is better, you know, or otherwise it's just a place match of guys wanting 